I just watched the Bo Burnham special. I'm obsessed with it. You guys should watch it if you haven't already. Anyways, this vlog, spoiler alert, is going to be everywhere, but we're just gonna accept it as it is. Um, I talk about Velvet Was a Night and my thoughts on it. If you really wanna to get to the point of it all and what I actually thought of the book, skip to the end. everybody I oh I'm in a parking lot um but I'm currently still reading Velvet It or Was the Night by Samira Garcia let me take my glasses off um I enjoy it so far I think tonally it is different from different SMG books uh that have recently come out so if you're a fan of Mexican Gothic or God's Jane is Shadow or even the beautiful ones uh, there's a bird over there oh it's flying anyway so if you're a fan of like that kind of style of writing um velvet of the night velvet, <laughs> velvet was the night is definitely like a shift from that um so expect that i think compared to the rest of her like back catalog this book is the writing is most similar to untamed shore if you've read that which makes sense because this book is a noir and untamed shore was her first noir um so if you enjoyed the writing style untamed shore uh expect similarities with velvet was a night uh, i'm on page 71 of this book but what i will say about it is that there's two main point of views, perspectives, but they're both being told through third person. So you have Elvis, who is this 20-year-old dude in Mexico City, and he's kind of been juggling around from, like, gigs to gigs since he was 15, um, some darker than others. And then he got himself involved. This takes place in the 1970s Mexico City, he got involved with like um, Los Alcones and that kind of stuff, if you're familiar with that. Uh, and then it alternates with Maite, who is this 29 turning 30 year old secretary in Mexico City as well. Um, and and she hates her job. Um, and she loves reading. She finds joy out of life and of days by reading romance, uh, like not novels, but those um, little comics, like the ones that would come up come out like every week um and she loves those and so she's just like a very lonely person she's about to turn 30 and she feels like she doesn't have her life together and she's dealing with a lot of like life like inner life crisis like men mentally um and their stories have not intertwined yet so i'm really interested to see how and when they meet um and yeah, it's 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 been going well, but definitely keep in mind that this is a different writing style, and because there's two different like um, points of view, the writing style between the two or like the the is very different. So um, Elvis, Elvis, he's definitely a, a guy, a dude from his times, and he speaks like it. Um, so keep that in mind, definitely. And and Maite, she's not one to, she's not very, she's not very kind. She's she's kind of she's got a little evil streak to her, a little mean streak to her. So expect that in the writing. And yeah, I I'm just saying this because I suspect people will be a little off put if you're going from like Mexican Gothic to this book, or if you're going from God's Dream and Shadow to this book, or even the Beautiful Ones to this one. There's a definite shift in just tone um yeah and i will continue reading this and i'll update y'all um 
as I'm further in. <laughs> just change a person's face okay i just really wanted to add on what one thing that i've always enjoyed about uh Selva Mira garcia's writing um and especially in velvet was a night is that she has a really great quotes um like a really highlightable quotes quotes that you want to like keep forever remember in your mind and like just draw inspiration from endlessly um and they come out of nowhere you'll just be reading a passage and these things just like jump out from the page and like just stay in your heart, you know? That's something that I've always enjoyed about her writing, and it's definitely the case in this one. Um, needless to say, I've been, I've been marking the pages up a lot. Because we're on the subject of Sylvia Mona Garcia, I really quickly wanted to show y'all the next book that I'm reading, which is The Best of World SF. Um, this is volume one, and this comes out on June 1st. Um, and it features a bunch of different authors, if you can see, will it focus? There you go. Um, and I'm a really big fan of these type of collections because they um, have, or feature authors that I might have not otherwise known of. And I always like researching people and seeing like, their backlist. But I mentioned this with my little Sally Moreno Garcia thing because um, her novella Prime Meridian is part of this. Uh, I read the first story in this, um, which is called, give me a second here, Immersion. Um, and the author draws from her Vietnamese background for this first story. I really like this story. So basically it's about this woman, it's in a future kind of, where you can kind of have avatars on top of your own body to kind of mask yourself and give the illusion of a different like face so you can kind of customize yourself so it's basically like if you could put a sim on top of yourself and like customize that sim to however you want um so it follows this woman who has kind of customized herself to fit like this very white standard or what would equal what would be equal to the white standard in like today's society and she's modified herself so much she's masked herself so much that she can't actually separate from her mask anymore and she's kind of trapped within her kind of um fake identity um and and she meets someone who like feels pity but empathy and empathy for her uh, at the same time and I don't know I, I, I thought it was a very well written story and one that kind of parallels a lot of um, real life you know things um, and yeah I'm excited to read the rest of this I got some book mail today so I thought we could open it together. Okay. Let's here. Can we see? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, this is fun. Wow. It is The Inheritance of Orquilla Divina by Soreda Cordova. Ah, this is so cool. I was not expecting this, and it comes with a little menu and a card. What is this? My God, it's so good. Ooh, this is fun. This is really fun, actually. I'm trying to do like a sour inspired bookstagram post, so I bought like all these stickers and posted them on my face. Um, did you guys know this is actually harder <laughs> than it looks like? Um, so I've been here for like 30 minutes trying to do this and hopefully the final shot doesn't look like utter trash. Um, but I'll insert it here. I literally just finished reading Velvet Was the Night by Sylvia Garcia. I really quickly wanted to give my first like thoughts on it. I don't know how she always manages to like up the stakes so like amazingly like in the last 
probably this much of the book everything like got elevated um threads that you didn't know whoa my face is so bright okay so i never really finished the vlog that you guys just watched so here i am two weeks later uh i turned on my projector and i said let's do it i really wanted to finish my thoughts on velvet was a night which is a book that i really enjoyed so i even prepared a little slideshow for you guys it's titled my reactions <laughs> to velvet was the night number one it was good uh, you can't see it on here. There you go. It was good. It was good. What can I say? It was certainly a reading experience. I'm trying to say absolutely the vaguest things as possible. 100% um, of people interviewed would like to see it adapted. Um, the 100% being me, myself, and I, but I thought that was a really important, you know, statistical measure. This one, this slide, you know, I thought it was really important to the genesis of the project. I'm just gonna take this off so you can see what it says in the background. Um, it says magnetic because that's what I think it is. Next slide. A pretzel that says twist inside a twist. Velvet was a night. The last 50 pages are truly a twist within a twist. Again, not gonna clarify anything. Next slide. In conclusion, trust no one. I think that speaks for itself. Um, but real talk. What? But real talk, Velvet Was a Night is a nuanced political noir that thrills a reader with unexpected twists and turns. It takes place in a world that is rapidly changing. SMG expertly crafts her book and builds tension so that the audience will feel the distinct dissonance of a culture changing because of outlying factors. Velvet Was a Night examines the underbelly of an undercover society and exposes it all in its loaded up glory. Youth fasters and time rushes away from the fingerships of our protagonists, making way for an entirely satisfying ending that packs a punch or three and that's it that's my ending to this vlog i hope you guys enjoyed it whoa why do i look like that anyways that's the end of the vlog i hope y'all enjoyed it and i'll see y'all next time bye